we'll be able to build robots that are as intelligent as humans and interact with us uh, as humans do and will become indistinguishable from humans. And I don't think this is going to happen in the very short term, but eventually down the line, I believe that that's what's going to happen. Professor Rod Brooks, the self-styled bad boy of robotics. He wants to build the ultimate humanoid robot. I just want to build the coolest robot around, and uh, what, could be more, what could be better than a robot that, can, that is like a, a human, a humanoid? That's been the dream of science fiction writers for a long time. Cog is a very complex robot. It has a head, which is uh, with eyes on it. It's got uh, actually two cameras in each eye so, so that it can see a wide field of view and a very narrow field of view, such as we do. Right now it only has one arm, but it will soon have a second arm. Uh, it's an arm that we can interact with, unlike a conventional robot arm. It's, it's rather springy and compliant. It's got lots of sensors, and it needs those to be able to interact with people and do the sorts of things that humans can do in the world. And we're trying to have the system learn all those things as humans learn them so that the, it has the sorts of performance that a human has. And guess where he got his idea from? When I was a teenager, the, the movie 2001 came out. In the movie, Col um, sorry, Hal was turned on at, uh, on January 12th, 1992. And that date came by and I realized we didn't have a Hal or anything like that on the horizon. In fact, I had a a zeroth birthday party for Hal at my house and all my students came we had cake and champagne and I got to thinking well maybe I should try and make Hal and that was really the inspiration for COG. At the moment COG incorporates all the best robots from around the world as new advances emerge COG will absorb them the idea is he'll never stop growing one day in the future robots may see COG as their distant ancestor